Hey everybody, First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich. I know the calendar says April 1st and two things come to mind. It's April Fool's and it can't be snowing, right? Well, a little bit of both. It is not going to be a big event, but I will preface this by saying this is not an April Fool's joke. And just to tell you about this, remember, the system I'm watching was actually one I started talking about last week. If we go back and look, remember I said we'd probably see this nor'easter about Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. And right at that time, it looked like it was just going to be a wet weather, kind of rainy day with some snow in the mountains. Well, the system's a little weaker, a little faster moving, and a little bit offshore, which means the chance of some wintry weather here in the Piedmont is certainly there. And when you look at the system, you can see this morning, it was cold. We woke up to temperatures in the 30s. But there's two parts to this system. The key part is actually back here over Texas. You see the clouds and showers there. This is the surface low. These two are going to work together. And the cold air aloft that swings through is probably what's going to give us at least a chance of some wet snowflakes. No, this isn't going to be a huge snowstorm. Most of you might not see anything. A lot of this is going to happen probably while you sleep. But again, we're going to see a little bit of a mix with this system as it moves in. And just to kind of show you the probabilities of seeing an inch of snow are incredibly low. Um, only about 5 to 10 percent. There's a couple spots that get closer to the 10 to 20 percent range. But all in all, this is not looking like accumulating snow. A couple reasons, the ground's warm, the temperature never really drops below freezing, and it's going to be mixing with rain. So let's get right to the details of this system. So we're going to start with the, the surface here, and you can see the two areas I'm watching. It's this upper system back here and the surface low down here. They have to work in tandem. So there's still a lot of things that could happen with this that could trend this towards maybe nothing and just a cold rain or maybe a burst of snow. And, and the thing is, this isn't going to be ice. This is going to be their snow or rain. So at least we've got that going for us. So watch as we go through time. This is today. You can see the system on the coast kind of developing. And then watch the upper system. Now, this is all rain. Again, this is 11 p.m. tonight, so we know it's all rain. Um, and as we go towards tomorrow morning, I'm going to zoom in closer. We'll tilt the map a little bit here. Uh, this is about 3.45 in the morning, Tuesday morning. Notice that it's mostly all rain. There's really cold air aloft here, um, and the surface low is forming here. But what's going on here over Charlotte and most of the Western Carolinas, the air is going to be extremely cold and dry. And I'm cold, I'm talking cold, upper 30s to about 40, but the air is really dry. So what happens is as first batches of rain move in, some of it is going to go through what's called evaporative cooling. The water falls into the air, it evaporates, causes the air to actually cool down. We kind of call that wet bulbing, and we look for the wet bulb temperature, like how cold can the air get through evaporation. And it's pretty close to the freezing mark. That's where you look for the possibility of this kind of wet bulbing down to close enough where we'll see maybe a mix of snow. And if I put this into motion through 7 a.m., notice we're starting to see some snow mix in here, especially along I-85. I so... It's likely going to start as rain, and then we'll see maybe a transition to some wet snowflakes around 8, 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, noon, and then that, that's it. So there was a very narrow window there, and you could see even this is the most aggressive guidance we have, the NAM, which tends to overdo snow and precipitation amounts, but it does a pretty good job with the temperature profile, so I kind of like looking at it uh, for that potential at least. You could see that it's a very wet snow mixed with rain that only lasts about a grand total here of, let's say, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, maybe 5-hour window where it could mix. Now, this stays all snow. If it's a big burst of snow, we might see something on the grassy surfaces. But a couple things will deter that. You could see there's going to be some big-time what we call thunderstorms or convection on the coast that could rob some of the moisture transport. Also, we're getting towards a time of day where... It is April, and there is some cold air here, but the sun angle is higher this time of year. I mean, the sun's going to be up, so the surface layer could be warm enough, and the ground certainly will be warm enough that this is going to have a really tough time making it all the way down to the surface. And one way I can I can show you that is I can look at a cross-section of the atmosphere. Now, this is kind of science geeky stuff here, but what you're looking at here is what we call a profile. This is the profile of the atmosphere. So the ground is down here, and if you look at 5 a.m. tomorrow to 5 p.m., you can see there's there's rain. So the bars stand for rain. But what I'm looking at is height in the atmosphere. So up here, this line at the very top is 13,000 feet. This is 1,000 feet, and obviously this is the ground. These contours are temperature. So below, um, below zero is below zero Celsius. So the freezing line, if you see, actually dips down tomorrow morning to about 2,500 feet. So that means any precipitation falling up here 
could make it all the way to the ground because there's, it's only about a couple degrees above freezing here. So you can actually see the cold air being drawn down from aloft down to the surface. That's why you see these kind of uh, a valley. It looks like a valley. All the all the temperatures are going like this. Whoops, that was really bad drawing. Sorry, guys. That you can see all the temperature contours here in this in this cross section going like this, showing that the cold air is being drawn down to the surface. Now we're not seeing snow in this setup, but it could be just cold enough that we see that precipitation down. I put the relative humidity. This is basically the clouds. You can see the clouds all the way down to the ground. So yeah, certainly just cold enough at about 2,500 feet that this could come down all the way to the ground. So let me show you a couple other things. I'll show you the probability of seeing one inch in the Schreff plume, which is a model we use. You can see the little bullseye kind of over the Piedmont. But here's a little better section. This is a meteogram of that for Charlotte. Uh, every one of these P and control things are basically ensembles, runs of the single model. And about 50% of the runs have some type of snow. The average snowfall is less than an inch for Charlotte. So certainly the potential is going to be there that we see maybe a, a, a quick burst of snow tomorrow morning. And no, it's not an April Fool's joke. I think the best chance is going to be right on the northern edge along I-85, basically right in here. Now up the low, which it looks pretty cool there. Look at that, man. It looks like a that's a pretty nasty looking low. That looks like a tropical system almost there. If the low tracks a little bit further offshore, that could that could bring in some drier air, but it would be colder. If the low tracks a little closer to the coast, that brings in some warmer air, but also more moisture. So you can kind of see there's this, there's this middle ground of the low tracking far enough offshore or too close to shore where you get nothing, but it could be like the sweet spot where you get a whole bunch of, uh, of a wet, heavy snow there for an hour or two. But again, that's a look of it. If I were to say, you know, right now, I would have the chances about 30 to 40% chance of seeing snow falling from the sky and even less that it would accumulate because of the warm grounds. Is there something to keep an eye on tomorrow morning? April 2nd, it's not unheard of to see snow in April. It hasn't happened in a long time, but um, it has happened in our past. We've actually had snow in Charlotte as late as May 2nd, believe it or not. That's the latest snowfall. On record. Of course, I'll be tracking it throughout the afternoon and evening. And again, please remember, this is not an April Fool's joke. There is a chance for some snow tomorrow morning. Have a great Monday, everybody.